The coaching session was really useful because he's a real director in a real business and he has a lot of real life experience in business startup. And he showed us how a real business model will be like and those are the things that we cannot find from internet or from school textbooks. You've got a very strong mentor team that are coming from business, from leadership roles. They can certainly come in, look at ideas and help work with those teams about you know, knocking out the less productive parts of it, the things that offer perhaps the most innovation, the most opportunity in the market, and helping them about halfway through that process to narrow down and say, what's the essence of what you have here? How best is that essence, that business opportunity presented? So it was great to see such a strong team of mentors from very many different industries coming together to be able to offer that resource. Having a competition such as um, the YIC allows them at the early start of their lives to know what entrepreneurship is. The lessons that the mentors and um, people who help them along the way, they give them life skills that they can put into practice regardless of whether or not they choose to start their own companies or not. But if they do, I think they have a better chance of success than I would have had. We are grooming entrepreneurs to not only start young but succeed at the first try. I have to thank all the teachers and the students for the enthusiastic participation in this edition of the Youth Innovation Challenge. I was very enthused. The semi-final judges were entirely made up of entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs from SMU. Startups, they've gone out, they're doing well. We're very pleased to bring them back. There is no age limit to innovation. It's what goes on in here what goes on between friends, between partners, the exchange of thoughts, ideas, the disagreements that allow you to come up with new ideas, new innovations. It's through challenges and competitions about innovations like this that we can unleash our youth's imagination to solve problems, big problems. And if you can solve big problems uh, using innovation, you can turn an uncertain future to a promising future. And today what we have seen, I guess, from the uh, proposals is your first step to solve a problem and bring that solution to the world. And we do also see that some of your solutions can go international. Think big and then we can go really big. Today, you took the first step. This Youth Innovation Challenge right, has certainly shared new perspective on my students. They have realised that business is not just purely business, but it's actually business with a heart. So with that perspective gained, they will set to actually implement it and actually practice it in their daily life. And that could have a major impact on their subsequent development. We are proud that it's not about the results, but the learning journey that they encountered and the obstacles that they overcome along the way. And what we have seen in terms of their growth, in terms of cognitive, as well as social, as well as effective. So these are the components that we are looking at and they have all attained what we have set up for them to achieve. I feel that this is a platform for us to share our ideas and talk about this idea and share with the judges so that we could give some suggestions for them. This competition is a really good platform to actually learn a lot and you know, broaden your horizons. Throughout the entire program, from day one, from the workshops to interacting with the mentors, it was generally very enriching through and through. Especially when we came to watch the other teams present, we were really quite humbled by what everyone else is doing. It's also about meeting uh, people who have done it before, their experience, their passion and get inspiration from them. As well as meeting the other teams, uh, I think really forge some great friendships through just simple discussing of our ideas and bouncing things off each other. And I think that's a really enriching experience. The possibilities are endless, you could have anything that you want to do. So more importantly, what you should do is find a cause that you're actually passionate for. And because that passion for the cause would actually drive you through whatever ups and downs that you face along your journey. In any industry you go into, you can start a business. So I think this skill will be extremely useful in the future. Definitely, I would want to be an entrepreneur.